Hello again, everyone. This is the first of two GIMP tutorials on image blending. In the first one, we're going to use a mask, and I'm going to show you how to make this ball image um, where you have the image of Pete Rose blending into a baseball. Um, let's get started right away. In the second um, tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do um, this blend here where you see the background blending into the baseball. That's really easy. So. Let's get, get started right away here. And here's our baseball where we started. First thing I'm going to do um, is duplicate my background. And then I'm going to turn down the opacity on the background. Um, I want to save this. I don't want to damage it. So here on this layer, what we want to do is make a selection around the ball. Now. Um, baseballs have ridges, um, they're not perfect ellipses. Um, I used the path tool to make my selection. If I were really being particular, that's probably the tool I want. Um, but for time, we're going to use this, um, just the ellipse tool. Now I have a nice selection. Notice I missed the ridge here on the baseball. Um, and I'm going to add, um, go to layer, mask, I'm going to add a layer mask. And what the layer mask is going to allow us to do is get rid of the white around these edges. Um, this, there's a canvas, I think, that this ball is sitting on. So we're going to add the, the white layer mask. Then we're going to invert our selection to select the canvas that's on the outside. So we're going to say select and invert. And we are going to um, use our fill bucket. You could, if, if I weren't using Jing, I could just drag and drop. Jing won't let me do that. Um, so what I want to do is make sure I'm filling the whole selection with black on the white mask. And I am. And there goes that canvas gone away. My next step would be to bring in the image of Pete Rose. And he's going to go right on top. I'm going to turn the opacity down so I can get some positioning figured out. So I want to move that layer over and up. And I kind of want the umpire to be at the top, Pete Rose to be at the top of the baseball. And there we go. Um, that looks pretty good. Now that I have that positioned, I want to add another mask. So I'm going to add a layer mask, a white layer mask. Um, and again, I'm going to drop black in. So I'm going to fill the selection with black, with black. And now I have um, both of these regions um, have the black wiped out or have the, the background wiped out. Um, the last thing I want to do is um, I want to use a blend and I'm going to use this shaped spherical blend gradient going from black to white and um, it's still going to capture I want to reinvert this selection here so I'm going to say select and invert and I want to get what's in the, the in the ball region um, and basically I want the, the image to blend and just so it's more dramatic we'll, we'll do this I want the image to blend with the ball behind so I'm going to just draw a really small selection And there you see, um, I, it, it's wiping out what's in the center. And really what I want is to wipe out what's out here. So I'm going to swap these. I'm going to edit and undo. Swap these so that white is in the center. Small selection. And there we go. So now the ball is blending nicely with the image. And last step, I'm just going to drop down my opacity just a little bit. And say select none. And now I have the nice ball image that I needed to make this image here. That's all there is to the first step, and we'll go on to step two in just a moment.